Good morning and thanks for watching this video. I will try to be short in this video. Uh, it's a it's a new demonstration uh, combining F5 and Nginx. Okay, as you may know, F5 acquired Nginx and Nginx has a great API management solution. And F5 has as well a good uh, F5 API security gateway. So now let's try to combine both together, the API management for Nginx, the F5 security gateway from, uh, so from F5, and let's do a nice demonstration. So first of all, this is the, the architecture that I'm going to, to demonstrate. Okay, so uh, we try to keep the best of breeds for both. So on the right, you can see a Kubernetes cluster. So here is my application. So the DevOps are deploying application, or applications with the head. Uh, and I'm going to show that this application is an API uh, oriented ap application. Uh, so we ca can be used with a graphical user interface. It's a bank application, okay? So with a GUI or with an API only. Uh, I'm gonna use an F uh, Kubernetes ingress, Kubernetes proxy. And then in front of this cluster, I, I will protect and publish and route the API through an Nginx Plus. Okay, and to, to configure the Nginx Plus, I'm gonna use a controller, Nginx controller. This is my first layer, okay, of protection. So I'm gonna, gonna do routing, uh, and I will allow deny access to some, some resources. And then on in front of the Nginx Plus uh, layer, I will add an F5 big IP, advanced WAF uh, solution. So, here, I will not do any authentication today. On the demonstration, I will stop to the, just the protection for bot protection, DDoS, and WAF. Because the DevOps provided me with a Swagger file or Open API file or Specification file, it's exactly the same. I'm gonna import these uh, Swagger into the Big IP to protect my, my solution. So, let's do it now. So, here is my Kubernetes cluster and my dashboard. Uh, so the application is pretty simple. So let's do it now. Let me show you. So this is the application. So it's a, it's a bank. It's a bank application running on the back end in the, in the Kubernetes cluster. This is a, the home page. Okay, so very standard home page. And let's go to the to the user application directly. So login. Login my credential and here we are. Okay, so this is uh, the bank application running in Kubernetes. So as you can see, this application is not yet fully deployed. So the DevOps are working on it. And so far, I have only the main application here. Okay, so the main application is a application where I can buy and sell stocks. And of course, there is a backend. So everything is running in a, in a Kubernetes cluster. So I have north, south, this one and his waste, okay, in order to get the price of the stock and my stocks. Here on the bottom on the right is application 2, not yet deployed as you can see, and here application 3, not yet deployed. So the, the first things, of course, is to publish this application. So the first layer I told you is my Nginx, uh, Nginx Plus API gateway. So here as you can see, first of all, I have one Nginx Play deploy, only one, is this one. This is my Nginx Plus instance. And it's very simple to deploy, to deploy an Nginx API gateway. So first of all, I have to, to create my entry point. So this is my entry point, okay, it's 10.120.9. And I specify the, my instances. So far, only one. And this is a production environment. Second step. I have to create, I have to declare, I have to create the applications. Okay, so the the Arcadia Finance web application has four apps, okay, four containers or microservices. The first one, of course, the main app, the one you, you just see. Uh, the backend, up three, up two and up three, okay, the one that are not yet deployed. But the DevOps told me there will be an app two, there will be an app three. So I uh, in advance, I created the, the upstream group. So it's pretty simple how it works. You specify the FQDN. So the FQDN is my Kubernetes nodes, of course. So I'm, I use a DNS resolver to resolve these. And the port is provided by 
Kubernetes. Okay, so my services are here and you can see for the main app, it's 511, for the backend, it's 31584, okay? So I just have to set the port. I use not port, okay? I don't use an ingress here because my engine express is uh, doing the job for the ingress. Then when I create, when I've created all my string groups, I create definition itself. So definition is pretty simple. Again, you specify the resources. Okay, so if you do not specify the resource, the access is denied. So I have a slash, the main app. I have a slash API, it's app number two. Slash files, this is the backend where everything, where all, all the backend resides. And app three. So now everything is deployed on, on the AP Engine Express instance. What I need is uh, I just need to create my big IP. So this will be the next step, okay? So, so far there is only an LTM with a VIP and a backend. That's it, okay? And of course the backend is the instances, okay? So far I have only one. So let's go back to Kubernetes and let's deploy a new application. So DevOps started deploying a new app, app number two, okay? And the CI CD is doing everything, but let's do it manually now. So here is my Kubernetes CLI, okay? I created a YAML file, you can see here, and let's deploy at the moment just just the, the application okay so kubectl apply and only the main back and app two. okay so i'm deploying the application to now okay so it takes some time you have to wait and application two is deployed on one node, okay? So I just need one at the moment. I don't have a lot of traffic. So here, if I refresh, this application should be there. Great, okay? So as you can see now, the API gateway, Nginx API gateway is running traffic to slash API. And slash API is a microservice uh, with the port, I don't remember, but it was a specific port. It was a port 33. Six, two. Okay, so great. So now let's deploy application three. And for application three, now I just have to deploy all the services. Okay. You can see here. So, so backend unchange, up to unchange, main unchange, and app three created. Okay, so now I should have an application three. Deploy, perfect. The pod is deployed. Okay, and my service is still there, still the same. So now this application here should be available. Okay, so perfect. So I have a great CI CD process. Of course, if I use Jenkins, for instance, and my API gateway is ready. Okay, my API gateway was set for that. So now what I want to do is to protect the application because the Nginx now is just doing routing and only allowing access to the right path, slash API, slash app three, slash files for the backend. So what, I've, what I need to do now is to go to my big IP and add, add a WAF, okay? A real WAF with advanced features like bot protection, DDoS, Swagger import. And I have a Swagger file provided by the DevOps. So let's go to security and guided configuration. I have a template here. It's named REST API security with open API spec. Perfect, so I go there. I have some information regarding what I have to do with the several steps to do. I give a name, it's Arcadia Demo. And I have to provide the Swagger file. The Swagger is there, okay, I open it. If you want to have a look on it, Swagger file is pretty simple. As you can see, there are several paths, so I have four paths. One is slash API REST execute money transfer, is to make a money transfer, and the one is to buy stock, sell stock, and get the transaction. 
So that's it. Okay, so of course for all of them I have some information regarding the name and so on. Here I do not enable anything on the authentication side or authorization part of the API. This is for the next demo. The swagger is imported, I can see the methods, the URI, the response, then the enforcement, so I want to block, of course. Then I need to specify if I want to assign to virtual server or not. Okay, so I can create a new, I can use an existing one. You can see the Arcadia is here. Save, and then I click on deploy. And I have to wait for the deployment. When deployment is done and deploy, now I have a virtual server here with an API and an, an, an endless WAF policy. Perfect. So it means now I should I should be able to breach the API and I should be protected. Okay, so of course, if I go to security and ASM, I have my, my policy, my WAF policy is here. Okay, great. So I want, I want to, to simulate calls on the right for the application too, this one. Okay, so if I do a money transfer like that, I send to Bart 55 pounds or euro, when I do that, behind the scene, it's an API call okay, in the application. So now, in Postman, let's do it. Okay, so I'm here. So if I go to last transaction, I can see the last transaction. Okay, perfect. These are the last transaction I did. You can see here. Okay, now. I would like to do, I would like to transfer money. So I, as you can see, this is my VIP, it's an API VIP, API slash REST slash execute money transfer. If you remember the Swagger file, this was the, the URL. And then I would like to transfer 19 pounds to Bart from this, from this account. Okay, success. Okay, seems to work. And if you know a five in the logs, we should see some some logs regarding my my request. Perfect. Okay, you can see the post authorization is done, and I have the response. Okay, Bart, get money. And if I switch back to the app, and if I refresh, I should see my my call. Perfect, 19. Okay, so now if I try to make a very, if I try to inject something in the body, like a script, or if I want to cross site scripting, or if I try to do an injection on the database, it will be blocked. Okay, so you, you recognize the support ID from, from F5 WAF, and here I should have my, my, my violation. Okay, attack signature detected. Process scripting. So as you can see, it's very easy to protect an API and publish an API with a five and Nginx. Okay, Nginx is publishing the, the API, and Nginx is very agile. So if I want to scale out, I can scale out. So for instance, I can scale out my application to imagine the application to is too slow. Okay, I have slowness on my application because it's I have a lot of money transfer at, at the moment. I can up to, okay, and I update. So you can see it's deploying a new a new pod, okay. A new pod means I will have more resources scale out. So if I go there, nice. I have two pods here, okay. So now when I when I do money transfer, I will be balanced between bus. And something else is my my engine express. I have only one engine express at the moment, and let's try to have both now to nginx plus from the control so i this is my my nginx plus host okay so as you can see the nginx plus is running into a docker so i just have to to spin a new one uh, like this one okay 
So start a new docker with press controller 2. I have to give a name, a new port. The first port is 80, the one is 81. Let's do it. Okay, so now second engine express is running. Okay, so of course this could be done by my CI CD process. Okay, if I monitor my resources and if it's too high, uh, I can spin a new one. So I need some minutes to, uh, to detect it in, uh, in, uh, in my controller. So in few minutes here, I should see a new Nginx Plus. What I have to do now in this demo, I need to add this Nginx Plus in my big IP, the first layer, okay? If I come back to my slide, this one, of course, if I have a new Nginx Plus, my, my F5 has to load balance between both. So, in the meantime, it appears, I go there, pull. Okay, so this is my API gateway Nginx, and add a new member. That's it, very simple, okay? So it's 8081, add a new one. Okay, this is my Nginx plus 81. You can do it with your CI/CD process, of course. Okay, now it looks good. And I have two Nginx Plus now, great. So this one, as you can see, has some metrics. This one, not yet, okay? Need to wait a few minutes. And now, if I get back to my application, my, my traffic will be load balanced between two Nginx Plus, and on the back end, it will be load balanced as well on two app two, if you remember the application number two. This one is block. Let's try to buy some stock, for instance. Okay, I would like to buy some Microsoft stock. I got it, I have new Microsoft stock. And if I go to the app. Awesome, okay, and I can see my new Microsoft stock. And here is it's the balance between the two pods. So it's very agile, as you can see, okay? So Nginx Plus, preset 5 is a great solution for API management and API security. Stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna explain how to come how to authorize traffic between the five and Jane Jennings.